So you're looking for a way to isolate vocals from a full track. Maybe you've got an MP3 of your favorite band. Maybe you've got your own music that you're trying to pick out the vocal from. Uh, what you're going to need is a tool like this one. This is called vocalremover.org. If you go to this site, uh, you can see the first thing you see is obviously the vocal remover and isolation. And I can browse my files, find a song I like, and pick out the vocal and separate from the music and turn one or the other up and down to get a different mix. Or I can download just the vocal a cappella, or I can download the instrumental. But here's where you can go even further. So I'm going to go to the vocal splitter over on the left there. Now I'm going to browse my files. Find something in the music folder. Now I'm going to go with uh, Foo Fighters here. Let's see how this goes. Here we go. We're loading up. It's exciting. Okay, cool. So now when I'm playing the tracks, I can hear the guitar. We see in the top there, it's labeled as music, but that's the guitar. And I got a nice, clean, a cappella vocal track. There's Dave singing there. And I can mess with the mix. I want just the bass. Just the bass. Just the drums. I can do that with the drums isolated and then be able to hear exactly what Taylor was playing. What I can also do from here then is download the individual parts. If I click on save and then just music, that's going to be my guitar part. I'm going to also save my vocal, save my bass, and save my drums. So now I've got the isolated parts for the whole band. It has put the two guitarists together into one track. It's not quite intelligent enough to be able to pick out those two things. But it's picked out the bass, picked out the guitars together, picked out the drums, and it's picked out the vocal. So the next thing I can do is I can open up a Reaper session or whichever door you like to use, and drag those files from my download folder into Reaper. Oop, grab four of them, drag them into Reaper. It's going to ask if I want to put them in as separate tracks, which I do. So now it's almost like I've got my own stems from the original Foo Fighters track. So when you see people like Rip Yarta do breakdowns of songs and you can hear just the isolated bass part for a section and you say, oh, listen how cool that was. You can do that same thing here. So I can just listen to just the bass or whatever it is I want to hear. Uh, but here we are, I've got Reaper, so I can play the song. Sounds like it normally would. Got the guitars, nothing, vocals, nothing. drums, bass, all over the Take the bass out. So now I've got a vocal a cappella that I can work with. And from there I can do either remixing the song, I can put in different drum parts or different guitar parts, put in a drum machine and make it a dance track or something like that, put in some synths. Um, I could even take just the vocal and add it to a different instrumental, make a mashup. Something new I've been getting into lately is AI vocal swapping, so I could take Dave Grohl's vocal track here and make him sound like a, someone else. I could make him sound like a different rock singer, maybe James Hetfield, or even a cartoon character like SpongeBob. I will be doing videos on AI vocal cloning quite soon, so if you're interested in that, then do subscribe. The videos will be coming out very soon. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.